this is hydrogen tap. What you're looking at here are some tubes I just got cut from a machinist shop. If you recall in the last videos, I had a terrible time sealing the pulse system to your right because of the cut. It's almost impossible to cut the tubing smooth enough to make a good seal, so I finally had to I use aquarium cement to seal it to the bottom. That's the unit to the right. What I'm showing you now is a machinist cut of a plastic tube. It's 9 inches, the same as the tube in the 3LR1000. I had a machinist cut this. It's almost perfect. And I'm going to show you the difference it makes. I'm going to have these on my site in case you're interested in using this to build your system with. They're nine inches tall. They weigh almost nothing. I should have weighed it, but I have not. You can see how nice and flat that is. It should go in exactly nine inches. So far, the machinist has not disappointed me. It cost more to get these tubes cut, but I'm thinking there's a lot of people out there that might be interested in putting it on their systems or building their system around a clear tube. Please note, I have not tested these tubes with hot water or I haven't even tried them out yet. The way I'm looking at them, I do not see any problem with it, especially in the lab. If you buy them, and it's at your own risk, of course. I'm going to be doing some testing with them later, but the plastic is really hardy, and if it's what I think it is, I, I think it'll go to at least 90 degrees. So far, especially with the systems that I'm building now, I haven't even gotten anywhere close to that temperature range. If you get water over 90 degrees, you're doing something wrong, definitely something wrong. What I'm going to do here is show you exactly how smooth this is. There's the seal or the gasket that I cut that I use in the 3L R 1000s. It's just placed on the bottom there. There's no glue here at all. And what I'm going to do, and you're seeing first take, meaning I have not tried this before. I'm going to pour water in this. Remember, there is nothing holding that seal to the tube at all. And there's nothing holding the seal to the bottom. The only thing that's keeping that water in there right now, besides a little pressure, and I'm not putting that much pressure down, is strictly that the seal is made so well, or I should say the cut is so precise that it makes a real good seal. You can see I'm holding it down with my fingertips, literally, there you go. And I'm not putting that much pressure on here. What I'm going to do is put a, a piece of plastic on top to hold it, to even make it lighter to see how that will work. You can see not one drop is coming out of this. I have a limited supply of these if you're interested. This is an idea. I like seeing how things work and having a clear tube would really be neat to work with. What I'm going to do here is put a piece of plastic on the top.
And that's all that's holding this down. Believe me, it's not that heavy. And the seal is holding. All that trouble I had with the pulse unit on the right, even with sealant and everything else, now you can see what a good cut will do. You can't do this at home. It's got to be cut by a machinist. I mean, after all that aggravation, you can see how nice this is. I'm not even going to bother doing it any other way. Next time I have to put tube down, I'm going to have the machinist cut it. The problem is that I can't get a machinist to cut just one. As you can imagine, I have to cut a lot of them in order to make it worth it. If you're interested, you can go to hydrogentap.com. Now for the skeptics, as usual, I don't even know why I bother doing this, but I'm just tired of getting the rotten email I get. I'm going to take the top off for you. Carefully. And if you notice, it's starting to leak just barely. And there you go. Please do not send me email that there's a trick going on here. That's really pathetic. I'm tired of getting those kind of emails. Again, if you go to hydrogentap.com, you can get more information.